Hey y'all, this is a review of the CVM VM10 Mark II. The microphone comes highly recommended on YouTube, even comparisons to Rode Video Micro Mic. I just wanna show you what's new in here. Uh, the, the If you look at the version Mark I and Mark II, this, the only main difference you see is the stand. The stand here is now more compact. This is just a single piece of plastic and you can see it holds pretty well. You'll notice that there are some rib changes and there's a metal screen in there now. The, you cannot unscrew these anymore. Uh, it's, it's either glued tight or welded tight. And you, and you see that the element is still there. The, it's a single mono element and it, the screen is just so it's for venting air when there's a vibration here. It's more for clarity. The accessories is pretty much the same. It has this for your smartphones. This is your jack. This is the three three-way jack because it has to accommodate the audio in and it comes with uh, a dead cat. Uh, the dead cat is much better now. It doesn't come off. It comes with the usual if you have a mic port in. So this is just a spit screen um, and it doesn't really protect it from wind uh, as well as this. So let me just uh, quickly demo this. Hi, this is my voice going straight into the Comica microphone. This is your classic uh, Instagram vlogging type scenario where I am just just less than a foot away from the microphone and it's pretty clear. Um, I'm going to start moving backwards um, and giving you the distance and you could hear what it sounds like then. Uh, excuse the mess in my room. Uh, that's just how I work. I work in chaos. Uh, the mess actually is quite good for sound because what it does is it muffles the um, echoes from happening, which makes the sound more clear, with, like I'm up front. But I am in an cl enclosed room, so as I move away, you'll hear more of the echo. So about a meter away, now I am two meters away testing one, two, three. Now I am roughly three meters away testing one, two, three. Actually, it's closer to four meters now testing one, two, three, five meters, testing one, two, three, six meters, testing one, two, three. At this point, it sounds very echoey because it's bouncing all over the walls and trying to reach you over there. Getting voice from back there is a very unlikely scenario. Um, what you do at that situation is you would have a lapel um, or boom mics over people when they're recording um, a video. I'm gonna remove the mic. All right, now it's with the iPhone 7 mic, which is just on the bottom of the phone, which is to my right right now. Uh, this is in selfie mode. So I am gonna move away. One, two, three, testing, one, two, three, testing. One, two, three, mic test. I am back at about three, four meters away, testing one, two, three. Five meters away, testing one, two, three. Six meters away, testing one, two, three. Right now it's naked, it's completely naked mic, and that's what it sounds like. And I am gonna put on the dead cat, just to mimic what it sounds like. But before I do that, let me just turn on the fan I have here. I have this big ass fan. And let me just turn this on. To mimic the sounds of a cat down here. You can see him. So it should sound a lot better now. Uh, with the dead cat and what it does it takes that wind it's it's it blocks the wind and so uh, you could hear me much clearer so I am recording with the airpods and some people usually go they go like this I, I see people do that all right for this one I am mimicking the boom boom mic scenario this is normally what the boom mic would do and what I have is a long long uh, extension cord and this is what it sounds like even though I am further away I hope I don't know what it sounds like but it should reduce the echo this is a carotid microphone meaning it doesn't record that much from behind so this is what it sounds like when I flip it in reverse 
So it should be less uh, versus compared to flipping it forward. And as I move, it doesn't. It shouldn't make a difference because it's relatively the same distance from my mouth. So the golden rule is try to bring it as close as possible to your mouth as possible. So then it's all clear and it captures all the ranges of your voice. Now I, I'm just going to discuss about some of the videos I've seen about the this mic compared to the higher quality Rode mics. And Rode, even its micro uh, video micro mic, it's actually good enough. It's it, the quality is good enough uh, compared to the Video Pro Plus. Uh, the main difference is it doesn't have all those other features where it like does dual st streaming. It doesn't have additional decibel filters, um, whereas this is not as robust for difficult situations. But don't put it in difficult situations. Just use, just bring yourself as close to the mic as possible. Listening to the audio source from the microphone from Comica and from the iPhone's built-in microphone, they actually sound very similar. And that's because the distance of the microphone from my mouth is relatively the same. And the only advantage that you saw is when I brought the mic close up to my mouth, when I had the extension cord. So do I recommend buying this? Uh, only buy it when you feel that your iPhone or your built-in microphone is not doing your voice justice. And that's when you need to bring in an external mic. So you could bring it closer to your mouth and so it sounds more like you. Um, this is one of the cheapest microphones out there that, that could compete very well to more expensive microphones. And that's because the microphone element is very high quality. It's just that it's lacking some features that would enable you to record in more difficult situations. All right, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you like to see more reviews, just like and subscribe. And if you have any more questions, just leave it in the comment box below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'll see you next time. Bye.